What is going on YouTube? It is your man, Mr. Dominic Cruz, coming at you with another video. Yes, another one, another one, another one. <laughs> What is going on, you guys? I hope you guys are striving for your purpose and mission in life. You guys are going out there, working hard for it, grinding it out, and getting rewarded for it. Because at the end of the day, we love that purpose and mission in life. Good things do happen. All right. So before I get into this whole thing, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and for sure, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. Um, but uh, I'm going to be responding to someone's comments. Um, you might find it, you might not find it, but I'm just going to protect their name anyways. Um, but he says the hardest part, so I'm going to start it off with this. The hardest part is knowing that your ex cheated on you and left to be with the person who's older than us by seven years. Don't matter. Age don't matter. <laughs> but can you make a video about your, um, following your ex on social media? Mm. The girl I dated was my first relationship. I wasn't hers, but I was her first serious relationship. Um, they said to me, we've both lost our V cards to each other and we've been together for two years. I still have her on Instagram and Snapchat, but I'm not sure whether to unfollow her or not. I've muted her posts and she hasn't followed me and unfollowed me back just a day ago. Had no idea she unfollowed me. Uh, we haven't spoken since we broke up. Good. Keep it that way. Yes. Um, I mean, it's whoever leave, if you left the ball in her court, it's best that she comes to you. Um, it's been four months and my feelings are starting to go away slowly, but at times I can't stop thinking about her. I've been doing my own thing since then and focusing in school, gym, and building a business and gotten more hours at work. So your whole thing is wanting to know if you should unfollow them. Um, it's completely up to you. One of the, I mean... The last girl I dated, I unfollowed her on Instagram, but I didn't follow her on uh, Facebook. I kind of, and, and honestly, my whole thing is I don't unfollow. I leave it up to them, so that was kind of, uh, I don't know, I felt like that was a little childish of me to do that. Um, because my whole thing is I don't want to come from a place with hate. I want to come from a place with love. And I understand there was some misunderstandings, miscommunications, and stuff like that. But... Honestly, if you have her on Instagram, if you have her on Snapchat, I would mute the post. Um, I would mute the post and let them unfollow you. Let them make the effort to unfollow you. This is what this is what happened last year to me, um, which was funny because uh, this was right before I got ghosted. No, this is right when I got, when I started to find out that I got ghosted. I got blocked, and then I got unblocked, but it, on Instagram, and it was for me to unfollow that person. So, I didn't really care. They unfollowed me. I didn't really care. That's what she did at the time, um, and I kept it moving, to be honest. <laughs> but... That was last year, and honestly, all I, I always advise, let them make the effort, let them do what they want to do, because at the end of the day, it's going to smack them in the face anyways. Because um, I always think it's childish to be like, well, I'm going to block this person, and I'm going to block them so they can stop following me, da, da, da. It, it's for real. I mean, trust me, I've been on the side where I block someone, unblock someone, but it's it, it, for real, it's just a waste of time and energy, and to follow them, I mean... If they're following you, follow, keep following them. Who cares? Um, I always like to say, I mean, at the end of the day, they're always going to see you. They're, they're always going to check up on you. So you always have to show. Don't show it just for them, but show it because you want to give value to others. You know? Um, my whole thing is keep moving forward. If they want to reach out to you, don't make the effort to reach out to you. But if they want to meet up with you, I would like to know what the intentions are to meet up with you. Um, because it can't be so easy. Social media is so, so interesting. I mean, that's one of my businesses. And, you know, word spreads fast. And the thing is, with social media, I mean, we surround ourselves with that... Uh, 
we surround ourselves with it and it's going to get even faster it's going to keep on growing it's going to keep on increasing it's all that stuff my best suggestion is keep focusing on you keep moving forward let her unfollow you let her block you let her do all that you stay put and do your own thing your feelings are starting to go away it's a little slowly here and there that's good but understand they're gonna come out they're gonna come in and out 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 so keep fighting it keep working on yourself keep improving you know if you got some success that you want to share share that shit on Facebook share that shit on snapchat share that shit on Instagram be you don't try to do something on social media just to impress them do it because you want to give value to other people that need you so I hope that answers the question because <laughs> let me get my iPad right here because uh yeah you've muted her posts and you, she basically she's unfollowed you and followed you back that shit is so it's just childish, man. I'm going to follow you and unfollow you. I'm going to follow you and I'm going to follow you. It's just like, that just tells me that you're really insecure. So, honestly, don't waste your time. Don't waste your time in chasing. Like, I told the last guy who was very stubborn, didn't want to listen to any of I told him all the advice. He kept chasing the girl, then kept chasing and kept chasing and kept chasing her. And then I don't know what the whole situation is with that one now. But... She basically followed him, unfollowed him, followed him, unfollowed him. She, she kept doing that, and then he kept asking me, should I follow her, should I unfollow her? Stay put. Don't do anything. Stop doing stuff to try to, to try to change their mind. The only thing that you need to do is focus on you. Increase your values and keep moving forward. And if it's meant to be, it's going to be meant to be. However, if an ex comes to come back, you best to... You, you best hope that they see eye to eye with you because they don't see eye to eye with you and you're up here and they're still down there you gotta keep on moving forward don't ever waste your time so that's pretty much my information that's pretty much the video so if you guys find this information valuable drop a like drop a comment drop a share and of course it is your man's mr dominic who's coming at you with another video yes another one another one another one also uh with the um if you guys also need me for support to help you get through the whole breakups and stuff like that, I do have a coaching program available for you. You have access to me anytime, any day. I can help you get through because at the end of the day, not only I can help you, but I can get you to thrive in life. And tonight, I am actually meeting uh, the, the creator and founder of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So just imagine the things I can do for you to help you get to the next level in your life. So that's pretty much my video. So... Take it easy, guys. <laughs>